January 2022. I'm taking down, I'm taking out all the uh, sideboard because I'm going to paint and decorate this room. I haven't done it for 20 years. But what I'm doing is, as I'm taking down the uh, Urkel furniture, I'm polishing it with wax. And I'm going to do something with the uh, cushions as well, turn them over. So I've got to take all that down and move it out so that I've got a nice empty room to work in. And that's going to get creepy sweets going as well. And I'll have a new one. I've just got to wax them off and then I'll store them upstairs. After waxing the chairs, I will take them and store them upstairs. There's one there ready to go up. But the one thing that will stay on the wall would be my photo of Tenerife. Or should I lay on the beach and sunbathe and eat in some of the lovely restaurants along there. I put plenty of wax on them. I've done all the chairs now, it's just these two little arms for me. Plenty of wax on them. And a shine. Look at that, it's lovely. Right, now for the table. <laughs> I've done that cabinet, look. You can see the nice shine on that, it's lovely. Oh, there's my new buffer machine. I just go with a piece of rag to wipe off all the surplus wax so that it doesn't mess up this lamb's wool buff too much. So I get the worst off. And then Give it a nice buff. But it's been going to show why it's so important uh, to keep this country going, Mr. Speaker, and to keep people going to the to the dentist. But it's one of the problems we've had during lockdown. Yeah, it's not bad. Begins to shine, though. Needs a bit more buff in it. I give it a good buff. You can see the difference. Lovely. Now to do the rest. Give the table a buff. Good wax in. And I'm going to pour the leaves out. Then now we're going to I am now going to extend the table by pulling the leaves out. As you can see, it's a great big table. No, it looks about 10 foot long. Well, I give the table a good polish <laughs> with the leaves out. I 
I'll take it apart now and uh, take it upstairs. I've taken the uh, radiator off the wall. You can see the patch there. And I'm going to put it on this wall over here. So all the furniture has been taken out. And I've waxed it all. Them two pieces got to go out a little bit later on. That's uh, Elm, Urkel furniture. Very lovely, beautiful green on it. And it's all waxed, ready to come back in. So I've got a piece of wood. I think it might be mahogany. I've had it for about 30 years up in the attic. I don't know where I captured it from, but um, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. I've started to um, sand it off. It's looking good, so I'll continue with it. But that would be a shelf going across the top of the radiator. first piece of the work hall is out here. Look. I just thought you'd like to see the back of it, which is never seen, but it's eighth plywood on the back and it's veneered in, in elm. So it looks like a solid wood. I mean that's the solid wood and that's the plywood. As you can see there's not a lot of difference. Good stuff. And why there's a different colour on this one is because this one sits there. So that I've had no sunlight for 40 years. Well, I started to uh, sand down this uh, old piece of wood so you can see the difference. Look. This is the sander. 